I'll turn the lights down, woman! Luke, what... Are you drinking absinthe? You know what the doctor said. Absinthe, Luke. Are you actively trying to kill yourself? Because if you are, we can just hit you with a bloody car! Honeybee, buttercup, not too loud, please. Besides, it's Lelouch, not too strong. Just hair of the dog that bit me. Helps with the hangover, dearest. You drank? When? This morning, love. Don't be mad. I just needed a few drinks, having to deal with those simpletons. And maybe I had one too much. You don't see me whinging about you leaving me to handle them on my own. I had to attend the photo shoot and interview with Luxury Living. You know that. Let's not make this about me, Luke. This is about you and your drinking problem and... Oh, I don't know, Hana, darling. What if my drinking problem, as you like to call it, is linked to you? If we think about it that way, this discussion is about you. That was pretty mean of you, leaving me alone to do all the work like that. You can't use the interview as an excuse either, honey. I was informed the moment your little interview was done. So, what was it then, hmm? What were you doing? I was talking with Zachary, the photographer for Luxury Living. That giant negro? You were having a secret meeting behind my back and it was with him? What are you implying? I'm implying nothing. I'm just worried. You know better than to trust those media types, Buttercup. He must have been really friendly to occupy your time like that. But all he's looking for is his next big headline. He's a photographer for an interior design magazine. Doesn't matter. You let one little thing slip, one wrong move, and it'll blow up in the telly in the morning. He'll go to his journalist friends to gossip and make a quick quid. He was a perfect gentleman, Luke. I can't say the same for you as of recent. Excuse me again? We're talking about you, Hana. No, I am pretty sure we were talking about you and your drinking problem, Luke, right? Oh, it is not a problem. I can stop whenever I want. And even if it was, I think you can very well stay out of it, as it only affects my own kidneys or liver or whatever the bloody hell that shite pollutes. Whatever aftermath that occurs because of your little chit-chat with the Negro affects the both of us, however. Look, Luke. Nothing will happen. You have to relax. It was just a friendly chat. Well, now I think I'm getting jealous. Or I would be if it weren't for this damn headache. Maybe you should drink more. Maybe.
anybody down there? Out. We don't want Luke waking up and finding you in there, do we? That man would go ballistic thinking someone was trying to steal his precious wine. You can have a good cry, just not in there, yes? Why don't you come out here and we can have a cuppa and you can tell me all about whatever it is you're bawling about. Apologies, madam, for touching you like that. You were not responding to my voice, and you looked about ready to wake the whole mansion up. I was... Oh, I'm sorry. I was getting rather loud, wasn't I? But that crying woman in there, we must do something about her. I beg your pardon, what crying woman? Are you feeling well, madam? In the cellar? Can't you hear her? Madam, Hannah, no one is down there. What? The cellar is locked. Only Luke and I have duplicates of the keys. Nobody is down there. Perhaps it is time for you to go to bed, madam. You are simply tired and hearing things, a perfectly normal human experience. But if you are still experiencing auditory hallucinations in the morning, you are free to consult with me. I, I suppose you're right. I just need some sleep, that's all. Of course I'm right. Go on, then. Gute Nacht. Good night, Johans. Good night, house.
you have certainly exceeded expectations, Marianne. Everything looks so marvelous, and in such a short time, too. Well, I can't take all of the credit. People have certainly been enthusiastic about the idea of working on the right mansion. There won't be any more problems unless Mr. Wright has any more objections about the second bedroom. proceed with that room as planned. I already agreed to him having his greenhouse and his vineyard and his stables. He may as well let me have this one thing. All right, then. Well, do we have any other concerns? Anything we need to put on our agenda before the party commences? No, I don't think so. Not unless Luke has anything else to say. Is he around, then? It'd be best if we can note down his request right away, considering the scope of his usual ones. No, he's not around. But don't you have a party? he's visiting. He's having marital problems and he's just trying to cheer him up. They've been married for a long time and they've hit a... how do they say it? A rough patch. His wife has a drinking problem and can be very neglectful. The poor thing really does his best to be a good husband. But it's never enough for her. Sometimes I think it's the years. Maybe it's been so long that they've lost that romantic spark. What do you think? You were asking for my personal opinion on the matter, ma'am? Do you want me to be honest, or...? Be honest with me, Marianne. I don't need someone to sugarcoat it. I'm not some fragile thing that I'm just going to break down at the slightest thing. If I'm going to be completely honest, I need to ask. This is about you, Mr. Wright, isn't it? it is. What would you tell me? Then, I tell you it's none of my business. I tell you that I don't want to meddle. But, if the troubled husband with the neglectful wife asked me for my honest opinion, I'd say that he shouldn't base his happiness and his self-worth on someone else. Someone who won't even give him the time of the day. Maybe he should try being independent for a while. See what it's like when he isn't trying to please someone else and doing things for himself. Everyone's supposed to be their own man or woman, right? A bit of breathing room never hurt anyone. 
That's just my two pence worth, of course. So you're saying we... they should divorce? Nothing as drastic as that. If they're afraid that it might lead to just that, then maybe that is what's meant to happen in the first place. We shouldn't let our fear control our lives. But it's just a short hiatus, is all. Or, you know, couples therapy? Look, I'm really not the best person to ask about relationships. So green of salt and all that. I really should handle what's left of the work. You won't be attending the party? Oh, you really must, Marianne. I'll try to stay in chat. Maybe grab a few bites and a drink, but I can't be around for the entirety of the event. My apologies. Busy, busy, busy! You must stay a while. I'd love for you to meet some of my friends, and they're ever so excited to meet you. You need to say hello to the Lees, at least. If it wasn't for them, I'd never even heard of you. We'll see. So, if I can be excused? Certainly. You'll have to excuse me as well. I must attend to the party before any early birds arrive. Because, believe me, they will throw a fuss if things aren't ready, even when they're not supposed to be here until an hour later.